Let's hear from Man City boss Pep Guardiola, shall we? That's how we're going to start today's show. He's been speaking ahead of his side's Carabao Cup clash with Newcastle tonight, and he's not happy with their journey home. We don't have planes to travel back, so we have to take a bus. It's two, three hours later. We arrive here so, so late, and after the day after, on Thursday, arrive, and, and Friday, you have to travel to Wolves. So, and that's why you have to think about and in that time. And after we go to, you know, we go to to Germany to play Champions League, and like it's a really, really important game for us because we know what does it mean to be able to win there. I don't know what happened. The team, the team manager told me that uh, to go to London, I think against. I have a bad memory, sorry guys. But we cannot come back with the plane, so it's not a problem. We go with the bus. We arrive much, much later than, than we expect, and it's what it is. Annoyingly, over the last few months, I find myself agreeing with everything Pep says, mm. and I agree with him here. A plane journey, Newcastle to Manchester, is 27 minutes. On the mm. coach, it's going to be hours. I would imagine at that level, it's all about marginal gains. Yeah. What you've been in both situations, mm. you've travelled distances from. Yeah. Whatever club you've been at, well, Coach. Ipswich Town, far miles away okay. from everywhere, and, and Sunderland. Sunderland, you would have been on a plane for most of that. Yeah. What are the differences? What are the major differences to a footballer from a thirty-minute plane journey or an hour plane journey to a four or five-minute coach, uh, four or five-hour coach journey? But first, first and foremost, I think you can't. If you try and compare it to, again, this is going to sound weird, the normal man having to make the same journey, I can understand why people would say it's bonkers because you think, well, hold on, just get on a coach. But when you talk about elite athletes who are in a completely different environment to the normal person, you can't really judge them by the same standards. Does that make sense? So mm-hmm. there could be people out there listening and saying, I'll oh, get on with it, Pep, it's only a coach drive. I have to do it. I understand that, but you can't compare the two because you're in two completely different circumstances. Now, if you're talking about, again, the fir- I think the furthest journey I ever did on a coach was Ipswich Town to Plymouth. Oh, my God. On a coach. Like, yeah. And that must, it felt like it took about six and a half hours. Now yeah. we now right. we we travelled down on the Friday. God. So not only that, when when you're talking about so we trained eleven, so we left at two. Think about the rush hour traffic you're hitting six hours down to Plymouth. It's just on what day? The Friday. On the Friday. The day before. Right. You just there's, there's only so many times a coach can stop on the way to you get to the hotel before mm-hmm. you start to get stiff, and it's just that that little preparation where you want to be a re- relaxed as much as possible the day before a game. And then having all that to do, then by the time you, if you hit a bit of traffic, you get there a bit later. Then you've got to get your nutrition on board, the food and stuff. So it all has a knock-on effect. That's that's the thing. But for Pep and that, I can understand it because he is about the margins, the, the fine margins about, well, I've got to prepare. He's already got Wolves in his head. Even though they've got Newcastle tonight, the moment that game finishes, he's thinking, right, Wolves, how, what's the best way to prepare? And do you know what I mean? he's maybe overthinking it, but this is why he's a serial winner because it's, it is the fine detail. So he's probably thinking, right, how quickly can we get back to Manchester? The players get their rest and we can then start preparing for Wolves. When he didn't add a three-hour coach journey, it just doesn't work for him. For me, uh, looking at that scenario, the best thing to do would be, you know what? If you can't get home tonight, just stay there. Get Let the players get a full rest. Mm. Get up about nine o'clock, have your breakfast. Travel back down to Manchester tomorrow. Maybe go to the training ground. Have a little bit of a cool down and then you hit it again. Uh, what what we do Friday do you, you, your session Friday but for him he just doesn't see it like that he just thinks right, right I need the advantage I want to keep winning games and this three hour coach journey is, is is not helping my team so again you can't really compare him to a normal person because he just doesn't think and he's not in a normal environment and, and also just in case people are unaware when Man City are getting on a plane mm. they are literally turning up at the airport they are walking on, on the, the tarmac, tarmac up the onto stairs, the plane. Or way to go. So it's not like they've got an hour to wait for the plane. They've no. got to go through security. None of that. The, no, they'll, they'll have to go. They'll go to the private airport bit. Yeah, but then it, then there's like a, a little thing they walk through, like a metal detector, just, just, just ch- for them, just to check the bags. Yeah. I mean, yeah, listen, yeah. the amount of times you just throw your bag in there, no one even checks. Yeah, it. of course. And then you you sit in a little lounge for maybe ten minutes. Then someone will go right. We're ready to board. So, so it is. So a thirty minute plane journey is like an hour tops. From start to finish. From start to finish. Where it's not three hours like exactly. the rest of us if we're going. Exactly. So I don't think it's him making excuses because how this guy doesn't need to make excuses. No. His resume No, I get it. I speaks totally for get itself. It. So, so with that in mind then, one of the questions we're going to ask is do you think that the bigger clubs or clubs, not necessarily big clubs, clubs that have got European football should have the option to not have to play in, in the Carabao Cup, in the League Cup? Um, Again, it's a tough one because... I'm going to take Manchester City as a, uh, an example. Pep's won the League Cup four times. He obviously plays this competition a massive, the massive respect. He doesn't want to lose out on anything. He wants to win absolutely everything. So I don't know if the club should be able to make the decision. I think potentially the League Cup or someone else should make the decision. Mm. But also, I think we're going to get to a point where they're going to have to pick and choose because if we want to keep seeing all this football and we're going to keep adding more games, more international games, more club games, more club competitions, eventually something has to give. You can't just keep giving more competitions, more games, more games. At some point, 
Like it happened to Liverpool, where they had the Club World Cup. Uh, Aston Villa, and, and Aston Villa in the League Cup. <coughs> something, <coughs> something has to give. So, I think it might get to a situation where people might take that that decision away from the club yeah. and say, you know what, you're in this this in this competition. You're no longer in the League Cup or, so, or something. See, like. I can't imagine the sponsors would have uh, would be a, uh, allowing any club. Oh, no, to there'd, do be that few, there'd be few because it devalues the brand. Exactly, but yeah. at the same time, what are you expected to do if you're in yeah. every single competition yeah. and they're adding more games? Would, would you, as a football fan, if if all the sides that are in Europe this season, right, if they instead all played their complete B team mm. for the first few rounds of the League Cup, would you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, because I'd understand that. There's too many competitions. Do you okay. know what I mean? I, I as long as they're fielding some form of team, and also as well, it gives an opportunity for some of the younger players to yeah. look at them. Okay. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.